Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create your Facebook Business Manager account. The Facebook Business Manager account is the hub within Facebook whereby you're able to create and control all your business assets within the Facebook platform. Hi, I'm Brandon Skeen. So let's head over to a browser window and let's go and create your Business Manager account. Once in a browser, head over to the following URL, business.facebook.com. If you are logged into Facebook, this will take you straight through to your personal profile. If not, you'll see a screen similar to this. So you can, if you have your personal account, you can either go and select login or create your account if you're looking to create a, an additional business manager account. It is important to note here that your business manager account will always be associated with your personal profile. So the profile that you use for your friends and family will be the one that is connected to your business manager account. So business manager is where you'll be creating all your all your business assets. So things like managing your ad accounts, your Facebook pages. If you're already logged into Facebook but want to create your business manager account, head over to the following URL, business.facebook.com forward slash create. And here the only option available to you is to create your account. So head over here and go and select create. So head over to your business and account name and this will need to be your business name that you're going to enter in here. Uh, my name has been pre-populated because I'm already logged in to Facebook and then enter your business email address. Then select the submit button. Facebook will then send you an email in order to verify your email address. And once that is done, your business manager account will then actually be active. So once you're logged into your business manager account, as here you can see, I have not verified my business email address as of yet. So it's not an active business manager account just yet. But once I verified my email address, that error warning will be removed. So I head over to this hamburger menu at the top here, come over and select business settings in the middle. This is where we will actually configure our business manager account for your site. The first option that is available here is users, but that is not where you'd want to start. You'd, the whole idea of the business manager account is for you to create various business assets. And once you've created those assets is then to assign permissions to those various assets. So head over to accounts. And the first thing that we're going to create over here is our page. Come and select add. You get three options. You can either add an existing page that you would like to bring in and take ownership of because it belongs to you. The second option is request access to a page. This is where the page belongs to somebody else and you are just requesting access to manage that particular page. Or you can go and create a brand new page. So I'm going to select create a new page. There are a number of categories that your business or your company will fall into. Select the one that is most appropriate to your business. In this case, I'm going to select a company and a business. And I'm going to call it that. And healthy living tips and it's going to fall into the health and beauty. And I'm going to go and create that particular page. The page asset has now been created. And over here on the right hand side, you can see who are the people who have access because I created it by default, I will have access, but I'll move on to granting user access later on within the video. Next, what we're going to go and create is our ad account. Over here, we'll go and select add. So here you can come and add an existing ad account. Every personal profile already has an ad account associated with it. You may never have used it or have been completely unaware of it. You can come and add that particular ad account into this business manager account. The second option that is available to you is requesting access to an ad account that you do not manage or own. This is in the case of where you will be doing work for a client or as an agency. And then the third option here is create a brand new ad account. So I'll go ahead and select that option here i will give it a demo one i will just call that as my ad account name the time zone will default to the time zone of your computer or the country in which you live the currency over here is will default to us dollars my suggestion to you is to change that to the currency of your country and the reason for that is you will then get built in your home currency this will then prevent any additional international transaction fees that may be incurred by your credit card for converting it from us dollars through to your home currency go and select next and here you'll be prompted for two options the ad account will either be used for your own business or for another business in this case i'm going to select my own and i am going to create that ad account at this point you can then assign access to this particular ad account. 
So here I'll go and select myself because that is the only option that is available. So I'll head over here and come and select full control because I want to make sure that I have full access to this particular account. So the account has been successfully created. You can either come over here and add payment information or I will show you in a later stage how you can do that. And there we go. Your first ad account has been created and you can see that I have been granted access to this particular asset. Now that we've created a page and an ad account, let's go and assign some user access to those assets. So go to head over to users, go over to people. In here you can see I'm the only one who has access currently to that because I'm the creator of both of those assets. So by default, I, I will have access to them. But if I wanna add someone else, all I need to do is I need to know their email address and I will send them an email at text.com just a fictitious email address and here I can select what kind of access I want to give them. You want at least two people to have admin access in the, in the event that your personal profile gets shut down for whatever reason. Then, thereafter, go and assign employee access as those have restricted access rights to your, to your assets. Just remember anyone with admin access can add and remove admins and has access to all of your assets. So I've gone ahead and selected admin access. Here's a warning from Facebook, warning you about the risks of assigning admin rights to somebody else. After that, we go and select next. And here we can go and select which assets we want them to have access to. So under pages, we'll head over to classic pages. Here we can see was our healthy and living tips asset. We go and select that and we can there, determine what kind of access they're gonna have. Once again, we'll go for full access because we want them to manage the entire page and we want them to be an admin. But there are different levels of access that an employee would could be granted. So just make sure you select the one that is applicable to your employee. And then we head down to add accounts. You can see there's demo one. We go and select that. And once again, I'm gonna give them full access to that particular Add account and you could go ahead and do the same thing for catalogs, apps, pixels, Instagram accounts. Those are the business assets that you can go and create. We've only created two items in this video so far and that is the page and an ad account. And then we go and select invite. An email will now be sent to that individual, that email address, and that individual now has the option to either accept or decline the, the access that you have granted to them. Select done. And here you can see that there is a pending request that has been sent to Brandon at test, waiting for that response to come back from that individual. Next, what you would wanna come and look at under brand safety is domain section. And here you would come and add any domains that you have. So whatever your domain is that you have registered with Google or GoDaddy or Namecheap, whoever that may be, you would come and register your particular domain here, verify it. And once that has been verified, you will your domain will then appear in this section. Next, what we're gonna look at is payment methods. I said that we would come back to this at a later stage. You could also have done this at the time at which you were creating your ad account. So we can come over here and add a payment method. So here you just confirm that you are a finance editor. The pay payment methods added here can be used for payment of any account in your business manager. And over here, you can come and change it to my local currency. So here's your payment method, it will be debit or credit card. And go over here, and you go and complete the details in there and go and select save. So now that your payment method has been updated, you can come and set some other security settings within the security center tab. You can activate two-factor authentication. Here's another opportunity to add another admin to your account. And then what's also advisable is for you to conduct the business verification process. So once you've updated your domain under brand safety, you head back over here to business verification and start that verification process. Uh, notifications, you can also come over here and, and configure how you wish to be notified every time there's an update within your business manager account. So if there's a business permission change, do you want a notification? Where should they send it to? Business roles, etc. In the business info section, this is where you enter in all your business particular details, as well as your email addresses, etc. Um, and all of that information will then populate into the notification field. And really, that is how easy it is to set up a business manager account within Facebook.
So if you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to like and subscribe below. Leave a comment below as well if there's any questions that I didn't cover off in this video and I'll get back to you on those. Till the next video, have a great day.